Tesla has started delivering the Tesla Cybertruck to customers, but only 10 have received one so far. The futuristic design of the electric pickup makes it stand out from other vehicles on the road. The Cybertruck has been hounded by the public and press, with every mention sending clicks and pictures getting social media frenzied. From its unveiling in 2019, the Cybertruck concept faced multiple delays, leaked engineering reports, and leaked engineering reports, citing issues with soundproofing and brakes. Elon Musk's famous email to employees insisting on building the Cybertruck to sub-10 micron accuracy, as well as prototypes with panels gaps like rugby posts rolling around on public roads. Elon also admitted that they dug their own grave with the Cybertruck, and they may not hit fully ramped up production of 200,000 plus trucks a year at Giga Texas until 2025. Musk stated in July 2020 that a Giga factory in Austin, Texas will be the site of the Cybertruck's construction. In addition to producing the Cybertruck, Tesla's global headquarters is located at the Austin Giga factory, which also makes the Model I. The company's ability to ramp up production remains to be seen as the company continues to grapple with the challenges of delivering a high-quality electric vehicle to the market. Tesla has finally delivered the production version of its electric truck, the Cybertruck, four years after Elon Musk first revealed the concept. The truck's design remains angular down the side, making it look like an axe head on wheels. The wheels are 20 inches in diameter, but appear smaller due to the gigantic tires and aero wheel covers. All Cybertrucks will be delivered in a bare metal finish, with two wrap options available for $6,500, just over 5,000 pounds. The rear end is identical to the rest of the truck, with only the lower bumper being tweaked over the concept. Tesla has integrated the charging port into the black plastic wheel arch instead of the one cut into the bodywork on the concept. The final version of the Cybertruck is not all that different from the original model with a slightly smaller, around 5%, appearance. It offers a 6.5-foot cargo box called a vault, which can be referred to as a vault, box, or bed. Tesla plans to release a range of accessories for workers, adventurers, and anyone in between, such as a camper top and a pop-out kitchen. Onboard power outlets draw electricity from the battery pack, allowing passengers to power tools and devices off the grid. Tesla also outlined an onboard air compressor, making the Cybertruck one of the more versatile models on the market. Tesla's DeLorean gets jiggy with a F-150 is made from stainless steel panels bolted onto a steel monocoque, forming a bulletproof exoskeleton. The steel is a special grade due to its corrosive nature and the need for a process called air bending to bend it in one direction. The steel is not stain-proof, so Tesla added elements to make it resistant and ductile. The big benefit is the supercar-like torsional stiffness of 45 cam slash deck. There is no hemming where the outer and inner edges are exposed, but they are chamfered to avoid dicing fingers. Only one piece has a strip of rubber to protect the bottom edge of the frunk. The bare metal and flat surfaces look spectacular in soft light, but attract fingerprints and a rippling effect in harsh, direct light. Tolerances and alignment have tightened for production, but there are quirks in the way the panels meet look and feel. The bottom of the A-pillar butts up against the front quarter panel is particularly challenging. However, the Tesla Cybertruck is built differently and should celebrate the fact. The Tesla Cybertruck is a pickup truck with a plush interior and one of the best infotainment systems on the market. The cabin is almost completely free of buttons, with a massive 18.5-inch touchscreen dominating the dashboard. The infotainment system is responsive and easy to use, with some features that could use physical buttons. The Cybertruck also has a new iteration of Tesla's yoke steering wheel, which is much better than the one in the Model S. This makes low-speed maneuvers much easier. Interior quality is decent, with soft-touch plastics and leather effects on the doors. Back seats can enjoy the tech fest with another touchscreen for streaming videos, controlling the rear climate, and even moving the front passenger seat forward. The Cybertruck is much more practical than your average family saloon, with acres of interior space and enough carrying capacity to swallow almost anything a family or builder could throw at it. Getting comfortable behind the yoke is pretty easy thanks to the massive amounts of adjustment you get in the seats and steering wheel. The front seats are nice and comfortable as well, with an abundance of cubby holes to keep your bits and bobs from flying around the cabin when you plant your right foot. There are also ample cubby holes, 
large door bins, cup holders, and two wireless charging pads in the center console. Space in the back seats is just as generous as the front, with acres of legroom to stretch out. The front seats are mounted high enough to slide your feet under them. The Cybertruck has a full-length glass roof that extends back over the rear passengers, letting in plenty of light but having to be careful not to bang your head on it over rough roads. The Cybertruck is one of the best electric pickups for load carry, with a massive 2,831 liters of space underneath that super-tough tonneau cover. There are plenty of clever features in the bed, such as LED light bars, tethering points, and 230 volt sockets for powering tools and appliances. A massive locker under the floor with a drain plug is also available for those with large families. In terms of payload, the Cybertruck can take up to 1,134 tons in the bed, around 300 kilograms more than the Rivian R1T and almost 500 kilograms more than the GMC Hummer EV. The interior of the Cybertruck is relatively angular, but looks a little more comfortable than you might expect. The second row of seats has three seats, allowing for five people inside the Cybertruck in total. Specs depend on the version you look at. The entry-level variant is equipped with a single motor that drives the rear wheels, and it takes 6.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour from a stop and delivers approximately 250 miles of range. Tesla does not publish specifications about its batteries. Tesla has introduced the Cybertruck, a dual-motor car with 600 up and all-wheel drive, which can reach 060 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds. This impressive power figure also allows it to tow a whopping 5 tons, trumping the Ford F-150 Lightning's towing capacity by almost 500 kilograms. The Cyberbeast model offers a third motor, upping the power to 845 F and 930 M of torque and slashing the 060 miles per hour time to 2.6 seconds. The Cyberbeast also has the same 5-ton towing capacity as the standard car. A cheaper rear-wheel drive version of the Cybertruck is set to be released in 2025, with exact specifications yet to be confirmed. Tesla has said that it will do 060 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, suggesting it has around 450 epi. The public reaction to the Cybertruck is unlike anything we've ever experienced, with employees queuing up for selfies with it. The truck's design is barmy, not beautiful, but committed to design convention. Off-road capabilities are promising with air suspension, all-terrain tires, an electronic diff, and a BADA setting with a front-slash-rear torque split slider. The Cybertruck can tow up to 5 tons, which will cut your range at least in half, so the extra battery pack is a must. Public feedback on the Cybertruck ranged from denial to awe, but it hits all the metrics that pickup truck owners are after. Towing capacity, torque, space, versatility, and toughness. The accessories catalog includes an inflatable tent, a bright, roof-mounted light bar, and an extra 50 kilowatt hours range extender battery pack. The Cybertruck faces competition from the Ford F-150 Lightning, an electric version of the classic F-150 and Rivian's Rivian R1T. The Cybertruck's base model starts at $60,990, while the Lightning starts at around $60,000. The base Cybertruck will be available in 2025. Rivian's R1T has a longer range, but a higher starting price of $73,000. Reservations for the Cybertruck can be made on Tesla's official website, with interest confirmed at a later date. Reservations are refundable and commitment-free, and Tesla will ask reservation holders to confirm their interest when production can meet demand over the next year or two. In conclusion, the Cybertruck is born to shock, but it goes even further than the Countach, as it's not a supercar, but a utilitarian genre vehicle. The most exotic-looking production car in the world is a pickup truck.